Hey guys, welcome back to the Fandom Minutes. I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. And today we're coming at you with another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be building a diorama. Oh yeah. Now if you don't know what a diorama is, it's defined as like a like a movie scene. Yeah. Uh, miniaturized. Or yes. um, a model using a three-dimensional character or more uh, represented representing a specific scene or art or or image of some kind. Yeah. So think one fourth scale, one sixth scale. Right. Um, technically, a, a museum exhibit is even considered a diorama. Yes. So you go to a museum and you see the T Rex fight in the Triceratops. Yeah. That's a diorama. Yep. Um, or if you see, uh, if you ever look at artwork through a peephole, and like there's like color changing aspects, they consider that a diorama. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. So <clears throat> today we brought you guys some examples. Uh, these are from my own private collection. Very nice, uh, very nice. And um, I want to start with this. So this right here is actually a Marvel themed uh, piece. It's the arm of a uh, one of the Sentinels, miniaturized. So first I want to start with this piece here. It's not completed. He's just kind of standing there. I started with some color um, separation in there. But basically this is going to be a Gears of War one. Uh, the base to me re resembled a lot like the emergence holes. So that's the theme I'm going with. And I'm going to buy the other characters, put them on there as well. So that's kind of a, just a quick rundown of that one. The next one I worked on was this one. Now this is Deathstroke from DC Comics. I don't know why he's holding that in attack mode. <laughs> um, if, if you can't tell, the base is actually a Marvel one. It's actually the base of the ruins of Xavier's mansion. However, I thought it looked like a really good piece to put Deathstroke on. So I've placed him on there, he's glued down, and he's just kind of like he just, you know, attacked this place and is now um, standing tall over it, you know? So we'll go ahead and move on to one of my favorites, which is the Green Arrow. Now with this one, uh, he's standing on a ledge of what appears to be some kind of like gothic style building. I was thinking kind of like Batman. Now, the cool thing about this one, other than the fact that you have Stephen Amell's Green Arrow with an actual you know bowstring, which I need to tighten, the removable arrows, I thought it'd be really cool if this one was mounted on a wall. So, we've got some hole mounts right here. And then you would just hang, the, hang it on the wall. And then you got him up there like this, just looking tall, you know, pretty cool. Next one we got is another uncompleted one, and it's the Master Chief um, on a battlefield. You can see all this stuff here. Um, he's incomplete because I don't have a gun for him yet. However, I did like the dynamic pose of him, like, kind of running up this this little cliff area. And so I just thought it was really a really uh, interesting pose to put him in kind of powerful pose. So we went with that. Last but not least, I want to get to one that's a little more personal to me, but also one that's a little more on level with what we're going to be actually doing here. So this is a um, diorama of my D&D character known as Akeem the Fire Forged. So a little backstory. Uh, Akeem is a Goliath Forged Titan. He is a blacksmith who had a curse put on him where it turned him into stone. And he embarks on this voyage with these other heroes to save this, you know, save this world. Now, the war breaks out and he utilizes that time to put his blacksmithing skills to use and make stuff. So I've set up a blacksmithing uh, table for him. We have a quenching uh, barrel that I've made out of three napkin holders. Uh, he was also the team's map reader, so I've got some little homemade maps on here, uh, as well as a set of tools and his traveler's pack. Here, we've got his noble steed, which he's a very large man and was unable to ride a horse as the horse he tried to get on, he broke his back. So they, they gave him a woolly rhinoceros, 
who became one of my favorite parts of the, the series. Next, I've got a homemade um, campfire along with a bundle of sticks that have been been brought up. Um, made some fake fire on it uh, just as a little preliminary thing. The fire is actually made out of a wrestling action figure's hair, but it kind of looks like fire, so it worked. Um, I bought this stuff here at Michael's. It's a little bit of flooring. Uh, looks like a forest floor, so it just kind of fit perfect. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick rundown of what we're doing with dioramas and what you can do. They could be as simple as a figure with a base or as elaborate as this. Um, the character, he looks identical to my D&D character, but it's actually made using the prisoner Fortnite skin that came out as an action figure. So uh, I was grateful that, that happened. I didn't have to make my own since they look exactly the same anyway. And yeah, so that's, that's how that turned out and I'm very proud of it. I don't know. Didn't finish the instructions. <laughs> Always read the instructions. We probably just need about that much, right? Uh, you gotta go a little bit further up. No, I'm just gonna do about that. Oh, okay. Well. That should be good. Okay. You should get the cap back on. And you want to start with okay. the corner. And you want to just kind of make sure it's lined up. And then you're going to want to use your hand. That's the best way I've found to get stuff to down. Just push it outwards. Like this. You really work the glue in. Works that any excess out of this edge. A little, a little edge right there. Well, we can scoot it now that it's. Is it scoot? Yep. Okay, is that lined up? Uh, yep. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do, this needs to come just like that. If we have a little excess on the edge, yeah, we, we can cut it. off with a. Exactly, but I would actually recommend that. Okay, so now we need something heavy to set up on it, like a box of this. Alright, well I think we just leave it for 24 hours. 